we are staying in cabin 334 on board Viva One with Viva Cruises. Let's go into this cabin and show you what it has to offer. So as you can see, this room is absolutely beautiful. This cabin is amazing. We are so lucky that we've got this fantastic room and we can even lie in bed and look out those amazing windows. I am gonna show you at the end of this room tour, cabin tour, whatever you'd like to call it, stateroom, what the view is like once the sliding doors are open because we do have a balcony view and we are so excited. We haven't stayed in a balcony cabin for a long, long time. I am gonna put the name of this type of cabin on the screen because we're actually unsure. It's been a complete surprise. And we're just, I can't even speak. We're just so excited. But let's show you what the rest of this amazing cabin has to offer. So starting from the door, you will see there is quite a large door. We have a lock to the door and we also have two door hangers. This one is for please make up my cabin. And then if you turn it over, it says I'm enjoying the moment. So that means we're spending time in here. And there is also an evacuated sign. That must be what the staff put on the door in case of an emergency to let people know that we aren't here and we have evacuated. There is also some switches to the room. This is my room key just here. I've had to put it in the slot in order to have the lights turn on and the electrics work. There is a small alcove just here where I've put my luggage for now. I have put Wayne's under the bed. You can see his luggage tag just there. But there is space to put your luggage under the bed, which is absolutely wonderful. So I will be opening up my suitcase like a drawer once I've unpacked and popping that under the bed. But I will be unpacking all of my clothing into the wardrobes and drawers provided. But to the right of the door, there is a large mirror so you can check your outfits upon going out to dinner. I just wanted to say hello, everyone. We are Holiday with the Heathers. Thank you so much for coming over to our cabin. I do apologize if I'm a little bit red in the face. It's been raining and quite windy here in Dusseldorf. If you have come to this room tour, cabin tour, and you've never seen us before, we are sailing on a seven eight day cruise with Viva Cruises on board Viva One. This is a river cruise ship. We are so excited and we are collaborating with Viva Cruises on this cruise ship. We are so excited to be partnering with them. But thank you so much to come over to our channel. If you are new, we generally majorly post about bigger cruise ships, big cruise liners like P&O, Princess Cruises, Royal Caribbean, cruise ship companies like that. But this is our first river cruise and we are so excited it's been absolutely spectacular and we've only been on board I'd probably say 30 minutes but let's show you what the rest of this amazing cabin has to offer but before you do that please give this video a huge thumbs up click in the description box below if you'd like to see all of the videos from this cruise series we are very excited there will be a video every week going up for you on Sundays we're so excited I've probably said that a thousand times but also please hit that sub <laughs> please hit that subscribe button if you are new oh my word I can't get the words out because again I'm so excited and also please hit that notification bell we post on Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays at 6 p.m oh my god I need to get myself together but let's carry on and show you what this room cabin stateroom has to offer you have the air conditioning heating or cooling system controls there is also a European plug socket just here now there is two wardrobes from what I can see so I'm just going to show you what's in this first wardrobe in here you will find a shelf with some blankets which I think will be really lovely if it's a little bit chilly of an evening and we want to sit and have a drink there is also a safe we don't really use safes very much on cruises but it's nice to have there in case we want a little bit of extra security in this wardrobe there is hanging space apologies for my jacket and Wayne's bag we just wanted to get them out of the way there is a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hangers and they all have trouser clips on as well which is wonderful so i will be unpacking and i will be putting all of our clothing in there like dresses and things and another nice tip is i use this to put things like 
um, small socks and stuff like that because we don't really use it. On this note, it does say, dear guests, you have a safe at your disposal. You'll find instruction manual in the folder on your desk. So you can use this safe if you'd like to, but I actually just use this as an extra storage space and I will take the blankets off and use that as an extra shelf. Let's go in to the second one. This has more shelves. There is also some bathrobes up there. There is also some slippers. And on this shelf, there's nothing on there. And there is also another lower hanging wardrobe. I'll probably use this for Wayne's t-shirts and shirts because mine are dresses and they are a little bit longer hanging. But this is great also to put like your shoes and your bags in the bottom of the wardrobe. So there is plenty of space. Following on, you will see this TV vanity area. You will find there is a fridge, and on board Viva cruise ships, you will always have a fully stocked mini bar. So in here, you have some Diet Coke, full fat Coke, Fanta. I think that is apple juice, and there is two beers, and there is also a bottle opener. And there's also some space here to put extra things in the door. We do bring some snacks. There's also some mini shelves. We've bought Pringles and we've bought peanuts so we can eat them in the bar of an evening. This cruise is all inclusive, but they keep this fully stocked for you at all times. So I might say to them, maybe can they replace the Diet Coke and the cola because Wayne and I don't drink it and just keep putting Fantas and maybe Sprites in there. But that is a lovely touch that they have that for you at all times. Following on from the fridge, you will find there is a set of three drawers. In here, you have your tea and coffee facilities. There is a coffee machine just here. And in here, you have two mugs and there is some coffee pods, some sweetener, and also some sugars and some spoons. So we'll probably use this as our snack drawer, potentially. There is also two European plug sockets just above. In this second drawer, there's plenty of space. And then there's also another drawer with the Viva One laundry list. So I'll just show you that now once I move the shoe horn. That's another nice touch. And there's also some shoe polish sponge. But these are the prices if you would like to have laundry done whilst on board this cruise. Above the fridge and the drawers, you will find a flat screen television. And next to that, there is another set of shelving and there is two wine glasses. Following on from the television, you will find a very small vanity area. Underneath, you have a chair and a bin. Let's see if there's any plug sockets underneath. From what I can see, there isn't. On here, we have kindly been given some canopies and a bottle of, I believe, I think this is white wine. We've also got two champagne glasses and there is the remote to the television. There is some tissues and also you will be given a complimentary Viva Cruises water bottle because on board this ship there is plenty of water filtration systems so you can fill up your water at all times and it says here refill and reuse me so i love that there is a telephone for contact and reception and there is also another european plug socket there is a mirror hi <laughs> there's another light up here as well maybe that turns that on yeah so that is wonderful for doing things like your makeup or reading or any work. You can also unplug the coffee machine, which we probably will. We don't drink coffee, so I'll probably just push that to the back. And that is great because that is another plug for us to use. Following on, you will see there is a large window and this is actually a balcony. So once you pull the sliding doors back from left to right, you'll have a full 360 view of the entire Rhine River, but I will show you that at the end. There is also some chairs and a coffee table, and there is also some. These look like the river cruises for 2024, and from the looks of it, they sail on the Rhine, the Man, the Moselle, the Danube, the Rhone, and the Seine. So that's nice, and they've also got one in German. What we might do is just move these chairs a little bit over because I want to be able to get my suitcase under that bed. There's blackout curtains, which is wonderful, so we are going to have a fantastic night's sleep. There's also another desk lamp just here, or floor lamp, as you can see. So if you wanted to sit in this chair and do some reading, that is another nice touch. But if I just pull back 
you can see we have the most beautiful double bed i presume like most cruise ships this can be configured into two twin beds and they would just put the two bedside tables in the middle but we are a couple and we have opted for this beautiful double bed on the bed you will find a luggage mat so this is for you to put your suitcases on to unpack so you don't get the sheets dirty and as i said we completely unpack when we are on board cruise ships behind the bed you will find the most beautiful plush headboard with different textures from suede to fabrics woven fabrics the wallpaper is really lovely textured next to the bed you will find a wall lamp either side with matching bedside tables on this side which is my side of the bed you will find a european plug socket and two light switches there is also a an alarm clock and there is also a wireless charging station so that is going to be brilliant for my iphone and for my watch and my airpods so that is great there is also from what i can see here reading lamps and these can swivel i think this is the switch oh look at that so if one of you is trying to sleep over there and one of you wants to go on your phone or read of a night that is a really nice touch i think they swivel yeah they do so that's wonderful turn that off and the switch is also here just for your bedside lamps there's also some really nice cushions. We probably will request a few more because Wayne does have a bad back. So we'll probably request a few more. I'm just going to show you over on the other side. Wayne has a matching bedside table and there is also a plug socket underneath. And on here, you will find some headphones and these are your guided packs. These are for guided tours so you can listen to these and they will give you a guided tour of the cities that you are in they are completely complimentary for you to use whilst on board this ship and in port so that is wonderful so you can do some guided tours whilst in the cities i absolutely love that so it's probably best to keep them on charge so you've got them but i'm definitely going to make use of those and again we've got a matching lamp and bedside lamp just there in here you will find the bathroom and the one thing that I am shocked at, there's no step. All of the cruise ships I've ever been on, there's always been a step into the bathroom. So this is completely differently laid out. But as you can see, it's a very well lit bathroom. There is a large counter space just here with a bin underneath and plenty of space under there for storage. There are some towels and some extra toilet paper. There is also space on the counter for you to put your belongings. There is complimentary toiletries and I believe the brand on board is Rituals. This is a body lotion. Oh my god, I love this brand. This is so luxurious and I can't wait to use this. There is two washcloths and there is also a shower cap. One nice tip, if you don't use these, collect them because you can use them as shoe covers. <laughs> there is also a mirror just here, which is magnified. Oh my God, hello. So that'd be really good for shaving. There is two cups that you can use for your toothbrushes. There is a basin and a tap. There is also some Rituals soap bar and a soap dish. There is a lit up mirror just here. Now this looks like it could be a cabinet. Oh, it is a cabinet. Oh my God and the storage is never ending i cannot believe this there's lights on the inside and so much space wow this is insane i don't know what this is but let's see what it does i think that might be a plug socket for yeah oh it's an extra plug socket so you can dry your hair and things like that or have a shave but there's plenty of space in here to put all of your toiletries so i will be unpacking there is some towels on two towel rails and there is some shelving just here behind the toilet i probably won't use those shelves because they are quite narrow there is the toilet with a bath mat and there's also a toilet brush there is a glass shower door just here with a very spacious shower there is a rail on there oh my god there's a waterfall rain shower oh i'm so excited i love these showers they're so luxurious but the other touch they do have is the detachable shower head i really like that there is a small kind of like soap dish up here and there is also complimentary rituals conditioner shampoo and shower gel but that is everything for now and i'm going to show you the last item on this list to show you in this cabin and that is 
the balcony. And voila, we have a balcony. So as you can see, I've pulled the blinds and the blackout curtains back and the door has been slided back and we have a view of the river. This is the Rhine and we have a lovely view of the bridge. This is just so exciting. Most of the rooms, the beds seem to come like sideways like this, but we have a fabulous view. I'm having this side of the bed, Wayne is having this side of the bed, and it's just amazing. We can literally have a look out. This is just so cool. I'm a bit nervous though, because there is quite a drop. So maybe once we've had a drink in the evening, we won't open the doors, but in the morning, this is gonna be beautiful to have a cup of tea and relax. But yeah, this is absolutely absolutely fantastic so thank you so much for coming over to our channel to watch this amazing cabin tour we cannot believe how lucky we are we are collaborating with fever cruises on this amazing voyage we are so excited but thank you so much for coming over and we will see you in our next adventure bye everyone do you miss me at all do you think about the things we used to